Hi, I'm Connie Townsend, group fitness instructor and personal trainer. We're here at the Wenatchee Valley, Valley Senior Activity Center doing an outside workout. Today we're going to work the whole body. We're gonna get the heart and lungs working with some cardio. We're gonna work our muscles with some resistance. We're gonna work on balance and, and, and stretching. All right, we're gonna warm up though first. So we're gonna march. Now, I have a crew with me again today, helpers. So today I have Nancy and Linda, and I have Betsy and Sharon. And on my back row is Esther. <laughs> she likes to hide back there. All right, we're gonna march wider. Now coming to a stop, we're gonna just turn the body, let the arms fling around. Kind of a rag doll arm. So we're starting to loosen up the core muscles around the torso. Letting those arms just hang and dangle. Getting rid of the stress, letting the shoulders relax. All right, back to center. Let's roll the shoulder back and back and back and back. Let's start getting a little bigger with those arms, big circle. Now let's reverse it, shoulder roll forward, and forward, and forward, and forward. We want the shoulders to loosen up, and bigger, kind of like doing a front stroke, swimming. One more each. All right, we're gonna bring our arms up into a V, palms are forward. Let's reach up through the fingertips and pull back. And down, reach through the fingers, pull back. And going back up, pull back. And down, palms are still forward, pull back. Now our head, we're gonna turn it. Look over the shoulder and other shoulder. And switch, switch. One more set, switch and switch. And back to center, march it. Let's bring those feet back in so they're closer. We're nice and tall, head is high. All right, we're gonna start with walking forward and back. One, two, three, tap, back, two, three, tap. Now we're gonna keep going with this. And as we do it, we're gonna put one kick. Kick, one, two, three, kick. In four, three, two. All right, it's an out, out, in, in. We're gonna go slow. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. So in a moment when we speed it up, it will be like a march. We're just marching wide and narrow. Out, out, in, in, one more. Okay, quicker, out, out, in, in. So you're just marching, 
but marching wide and marching narrow. Four, three, now feet are wide, march it. Let's bring those heels up and back. Start with this heel, that heel. Pull, pull. We're still warming up, so we'll get our back to stretch and, and uh, activate, stretching the chest, getting the arms moving. All right, in four, three, two. Gonna go into a double, step, touch, step, step. Now, the arms are just a circle. Down, up, down, up. All right, counting down. Three, two, we're gonna march. Other side this time. Okay, let's bring those arms up into that V again. Push up through the fingertips, pull back. And bring them down, pull back. And release, and up, pull back. And down, pull back. All right. So all of that on this side. Let's walk it. Let's add that one kick to it. So now we're working on stability all of a sudden because we are on one foot. Okay, let's try that out, out, in, in. We're gonna go fast. Regular speed at tempo. Out, out, in, in. All right. Let's just step touch single over here. So we've warmed up a little. Now we're gonna continue with that pattern and keep get the heart and lungs working. So go get a drink, but keep moving and we'll get right back to it. All right, we're gonna keep moving. Now the beginning of that pattern, we started with walking forward and back and adding a kick. So that's where we'll start. Let's walk forward and back. Now you can make it big, you can get those arms pumping, or you can jog it even, or keep it real small. Okay, we're gonna walk forward, one kick, kick, kick. Get your balance, don't lift too high. In four, three, all right, we practiced it. Out, out, in, in, over here. Out, out, in, in. You can make it bigger, more exaggerated and get those leg muscles to work. Woo, in four, three, two. It's a heel up and back, right? Left, or for you, it's left and right. Let's just swing those arms. In four, three, two. Gonna go into that double step touch. Step, step. Be sure to pick up your feet so your shoes don't catch the ground.
Three, two, march. Let's walk it forward, kick it. One, two, three, kick. Keep moving. Four, three, two. Out, out, in, in, over here. Out, out, in, in. Both are wide, both are narrow. Okay, heel up and back. Now this time when we do our double step touch, let's make it a double with a heel up and back. Here we go. Step, step, heel, step, step, heel. You can keep your arms real big. That gets the heart rate up, or you can lower them down. That's, that helps control the heart rate. In three, two, march. Back on that original side. We're gonna start at the top. Walk it, kick it. One, two, three, kick. In four, three, two, heels up and back. Eight, seven, six, five. Going into our double with a heel. Here we go. Heel, heel. Now we'll be adding on to the pattern. So, in four, three, two, and a mambo out to the side. So it's one, two, three, four. It's a funny rhythm. Your body weight shifts to that foot. Now the tricky part, is we're gonna go from side to side. A mambo cha-cha has three little movements in the center. So in four, three, two, one more. Side mambo cha-cha. Step out, in, one, two, three. Out, in, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Three, two, one more. Side kicks. Kick out, kick out. Front kicks. Okay, now we have to get to that other lead, but we're gonna do it by doing single, single, double. So it's single kick, single kick, double kick. Single, single, double. Single, single, double, you got it. Single, single, double. Single, single, double, one more time. Single, single, march it. We made it all the way through. Now we have to do it on that other lead. In four, three, walk it forward, kick it. One, two, three, kick and kick.
Four more of these. Two, three, two. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. One more. Heels up and back. Whoops, wrong leg. That's my fault. <laughs> oh well, we're still moving. Doesn't matter. Let's step touch over here. Whoa, and that was not good either. <laughs> All right, we didn't get through the whole second side, but that's okay. We got our heart rate up. We'll get back to it after we work our muscles. So go get some water, keep moving, and grab one weight that you can use for some resistance exercise. Okay, we've warmed up the body. We've worked our heart and lungs pretty good. We've done some cardio. Now we're gonna work our muscles. So find a weight, either a dumbbell or a, a medicine ball or a can of soup or a water bottle or a rock, <laughs> anything that you can use for resistance. Now our legs are gonna start pretty close together here. And it's just arm today, right now. So we keep our arm stuck to our side. We're gonna bend at that elbow and come up to the shoulder, palm faces in, press up, back down and down. So a bicep curl, press, back down and down. So we're combining two muscles, two groups, two muscle groups together, biceps and shoulder. Really control it. When you come back down, we don't wanna just drop it down. And when you come back up, you don't wanna swing either. So you're keeping that upper arm stuck to your side when you come up and then press up. So we're trying to straighten that arm, get it all the way up there. One more. All right, now, before we go to the other side for that one, we're gonna do something in the center. So take your weight, one end in each hand. Arm straight, gonna bend the elbows, come up into a bicep curl again in the center. But we're gonna make it kind of a jumping jack. We're going to kick out. So it's a kick and a kick and a kick and a kick. So a little bit of movement to keep the heart rate up. A lot of coordination for the brain. <laughs> kicking out. So it's not really a side leg lift. It's a kick out, kick out. Four, three, two, and switch hands. Palm in, upper arm at your side. Bring it up to the shoulder, press up, back down, and down. Remember to keep breathing, don't hold your breath. When you press up, that's a good time to exhale. Keep it up. Really be mindful of your form. All right. We have one more. So this combination is working the front of your arm and your shoulder. Back to the center. We're gonna hang the arms. We're gonna do another bicep jack. <laughs> All right, let's start with a kick on this side over here and kick and kick, and kick. So remember, your upper arms don't leave your sides. Just bending at the elbow. Kicking out. Woo! Counting down, four, three, two, 
And back to that original arm. We'll be doing a side raise with this arm. We'll be doing a front raise with that arm. I forgot what I was doing for a minute there. Going to the side, going to the front. Your palm faces in. So we're up and then front. So in both cases, you stay below your shoulder height. So when you lift out to the side, you're using the side of that shoulder. Lifting front, you're working on the front of that shoulder. You have different sections, different parts of the shoulder. Now your core muscles have to work to support that weight that's way out from the body. So you're pulling the navel toward the spine. One more set. Okay, now take it in both hands. We'll be pushing forward from chest level as, what are we doing with our feet? Oh yeah, front kick. So we'll start with this kick. We're gonna kick out, kick, kick, kick. So combining the arms and the legs for a little movement between sides. It's hard to keep our balance. Kick it out. All right, in four, three, two, one more time. And we're gonna switch hands. Palm faces in. We're gonna lift side and front. And side and front. Glance at it once in a while. Make sure it's going where you think it's going. Sometimes it's higher than we think it is or not quite as high. Now, if you have trouble in your shoulders and if there's pain, keep it low. We're keeping that body nice and still. Palm down here, palm facing in. Woo, almost there, one more set. And back to center. Take it in each hand, or if you have a rock, hold it with both hands. <laughs> Chest tight, we're gonna kick. So just kicking out. That trains the body to stay stable in a moving situation and in a one-legged situation when we're on one foot. Counting down. Four, three, two. All right. Now we're gonna be going back to that first side. On this one, we're gonna take the opposite leg and step forward. So your feet are staggered. One is slightly in front of the other. And we're going to bend both knees. So your back stays straight here, your chin is level. I'm gonna show you from the side, it looks like this. So your back is straight, we don't wanna round those shoulders. All right, so we're gonna start on another exercise. So this next exercise is working our back muscles. We're going to hang that weight at an angle so it's not just straight down, not out in front. It's angled, palm faces in. Now bend at the elbow and pull back toward the rib cage. Now since it's those back muscles that are pulling the weight back, you wanna really squeeze at the top of that movement. Make sure that muscles around your shoulder blade, and your upper back, contracting. Now our core muscles around the middle have to keep the back stable. So you're pulling the navel toward the spine the whole time. That activates those muscles. Now by being in a bent position, we're working on the legs too. One more. And up. All right, we're gonna do something in the center to change. So 
both hands a little wider. We're gonna do some squat rows. Favorite. <laughs> Hang the weights. As we come down into a squat or sitting position, we're gonna pull back to the rib cage. Elbows in close. And stand back up. Now as you're standing back up, you're pushing through those heels. When you pull the weight back, your elbows, we're pretending we're touching them behind us, squeezing the shoulder blades. Squeeze, squeeze. In four, three, two. Last one, back up, feet come back a little closer and you switch sides with the arm. This leg, step forward, just a little bit. You don't have to be real far apart. All right, let's bend the knees, back is straight, shoulders back. Hang the weight, palm in, and row. Now, if you look down at your feet, that kind of makes your back round. So just look out a few feet in front of you on the floor. We don't want to look up so high we strain our neck. Pull the navel in. Squeeze at the top. Three, two, and back up. Feet a little wide. You can adjust them wider or narrower. Both hands. We're out in front, at, front at that angle, and pull. So you're squeezing the elbows together behind you. Touch them behind you. Woo! Four. Three. One more. All right, feet close. We're gonna be taking that weight and doing a pass from hand to hand. Working in the shoulders again and the sides. Pull the navel in. We're gonna lift side. Now pass it to the other side and lift. Nice and slow and controlled. Now we're gonna add on opposite leg. It's gonna lift to the side. So you flex that ankle. It's not a kick, it's a lift. Keeping the toe facing front Legs straight. It's hard to coordinate and balance on this one. It's quite a challenge. Woo! One more set. So we're working in the side of the hips on this one. Come back to center. We combined arm and leg. And we're gonna do that again. Now this time we're gonna be out shoulder height and we'll be passing it side to side. We will be adding a front leg lift to it where our legs stay straight. All right, so we're out in front. We're gonna pass it, open both arms, pull back, and then pass it to the other hand, pull back. If that bothers your shoulders, just kinda of keep it a little lower. All right, now the add-on, and you can always leave this off if you want. We're gonna lift the opposite foot, opposite of where that weight is. Woo! So take a break when you need to. Only do what you can. One more pass. And bring them down, roll them around, loosen up those shoulders. 
Now, the upper pass. So we've already passed low, then we pass shoulder height, now we're gonna pass overhead. So we want to go up, loosen those knees so we don't let the back arch. We're gonna be bringing it down, palm faces up here and elbows are bent. Then pass it overhead. Try to get a good grip on it before you let go. <laughs> now, if that bothers your shoulders, go back to the shoulder height one or the low pass. So really pay attention to what your shoulders are telling you here. Now, if you want to add on, you can always just stay with this. Or we add on a knee lift. Front, whoa. So now we're really working on balance. You're working on your back, your shoulders, your legs, your core. So keep that navel pulled in. Woo! Almost there. And one more. All right, let's bring it down. Hang it in front, tuck the chin, let the weight of that dumbbell or water bottle bring the shoulders forward, stretching that upper back. And then raise back up. Okay, we're gonna get back to our moving again. We'll do one more set of cardio. So get a drink of water and come on back. Put your weight away. Okay, we're gonna get back to moving again. Our another cardio section, same routine that we worked out in the beginning. So let's march. Whoops. There we go. So remember we walked forward, kicked, Came back and kicked, then we did an out, out, in, in, and then our heels up and back, and a double step touch with a heel. Then we went into that mambo cha-cha with some kicks to finish. So I'll walk you through it all. All right, in four, three, let's walk it forward, kick it. One, two, three, kick. Remember, make it as low or as high as you can and want to. Okay, one more. Out, out, in, in. Four, three, two, Heels up and back, step, heel, heel, heel. Four, three, two, into a double step touch with a heel. One, two, three, heel. Really pick up your feet when we go sideways. We don't want the floor to catch our shoe, make us trip. One more. Now start with the side mambo here. Out and in. One, two, three, four. Get the rhythm. In four, three. Then we're gonna take this side to side with a side mambo cha-cha. Here we go. Side mambo cha-cha-cha. Side cha-cha-cha. One, two, one, two, three. Really transfer that body weight to that outside leg. Woo! One more. Side kicks. Front kicks. All right. Now we have to get to that other side. So that means we have to do some single, single doubles. Here we go, single, single, double. 
Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Really concentrate. <laughs> single, single, double. Keep it going. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. We have one more set. Single, single, double. And a single, single. March it. So we're on the other lead now. Let's walk it forward, kick it. One, two, three, kick. All right, count down. Four, three, two. Come on back. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. You can make it bigger if you want to get some squats in there. Work those legs. <laughs> or just keep it up. Four, three, two. It'll be the heels up and back. Heel up, heel up. In four. Three, double step touch with a heel. Step, step, heel up, step, step, heel up. The bigger the arms, the higher the heart rate goes. So that's how you can control your heart rate. If you're working so hard you can't get some words out, then keep the arms lower. All right, into the side mambo here. Now, side mambo cha-cha. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Woo! Four, three, two. Side kicks. Front kicks. Side kicks. Oh, got us. Front kicks. All right, a single, single, double here. Single, single, double kick. And a single, a single, and a double. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Again, single, single, double. One more time. Single, single. Now march. All right, we're gonna go through it again. Get through as much as we can before this segment is over. We're gonna do it a little bit lower so that we can start bringing the heart rate back down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Walk it forward, kick it. One, two, three, kick. So not as high. Keep it a little lower. Four, three, two. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. So don't get low on this one, just stay up. Out, out, in, in. Four, three, two. All right, let's just step touch here. So we never want to just come to a stop after we've been working hard. We want to always gradually bring that heart rate down. Okay. So we're gonna finish with some stretching. So go ahead and keep moving a little bit. Keep it low. Get some water if you need to. And then we'll stretch. Okay, we're gonna stretch, but we're gonna continue to move a little bit. So let's go side to side. 
Nice and slow. In four, three, two. Now we're gonna keep our feet wide. Let's start, uh, finish where we started. Roll shoulder back, shoulder back. So we're still moving a little bit as we start to stretch. That continues to get the heart rate down and continues to cool down the body. Up and around. Now don't just lift with the arm, kind of let the arm dangle. We're just trying to make those shoulder blades move around on your back. All right, now make it a bigger circle, kind of like a backstroke, up and around. Now, as you lift up, let the body turn a little so you can get some stretch around the torso as well. Up and back. Inhale, exhale. A nice moving stretch. And in a moment, we'll come to a stop. Now, let's take that shoulder and roll forward again. Or roll forward for the first time. <laughs> we're changing direction. Instead of rolling back, we're rolling forward. So up and around. Just let the arms kind of dangle down right now. We're trying to get those shoulder blades to move. All right, now make it a bigger circle like you're doing a swimming front stroke. Up and around. But in this case, we're keeping the arm real straight, reaching out through the fingertips. Woo. And last one there. Let's bring this arm across the chest and give it a nice gentle pull. So you're feeling the muscles from way back here and down your arm, stretch. Now we're gonna take our head while we're holding the arm that way. Let's turn our head and look over that shoulder. So now we're getting a neck stretch and that by turning the head intensifies the arm stretch as well and the shoulder. And then look back to center. Let's release that arm. Fingertips lightly on the back of the head. Your elbow's sticking out there. And just pull the elbow back. That opens up that shoulder and the chest muscles. Okay, now we're gonna unlock the body and unlock the body and let the body turn as you keep pulling the elbow back. All right, back to center, release it. Let's come around to the other side. Bring that arm across. Give it a constant, gentle pull. So you're feeling those shoulder and back muscles stretch. And then we turn our head to look over that shoulder. We always be careful with our neck stretches. Take our time. And then looking back to center, we're gonna come out. Don't pull the head forward here. Keep the chin up and pull the elbow back. That's really opening up the front of the body. And then let the body turn as you pull the elbow back a bit. All right, back to center. Now we're gonna reach up overhead. You're gonna take the other hand, grab that wrist, pull up and over. Now if you need more support than that for your back, take that hand and support your body with that arm. But that gentle pull gets a nice stretch all the way down the body. And then come back to center. Let them rest. And other side. So grab that wrist, pull up, over the top. Try to keep the arms pulled back a bit so they're not out in front of your body. 
and then come back to center. Now feet are wider than your hips. We're going to actually come all the way down onto the legs. So your forearms are on your thighs. And we're going to keep the head right where it is. Now don't look up, just look out in front of you. We're going to straighten the legs. So you feel the stretch in the back of the legs. And bend. And straighten. And bend. One more. Really feeling that stretch back there. All right, now bend. Now hands on the, on the legs. You can even widen out your feet, maybe turn the toes out a little bit. All right, let those hands take your body weight. So you're leaning into the hands, your arms are straight, your ears feel like they're, or your shoulders feel like they're up in your ears. Now take that shoulder, drop it toward the floor. That arm of that shoulder is straight, so lock the elbow. And then back to center. All right, let's drop the other shoulder. That arm is locked, remember. Getting a nice stretch in our shoulder blade area, in our back. And come on back to center. Now, we're gonna tuck the chin. Let's roll up. Inhaling. And step the feet back in. Now we're gonna raise the shoulders like you're tightening them up, stressed out, and then push down toward the floor. Get the shoulder blades to slide down your back. Okay, we're gonna tilt the head to one side. And then back to center, pull them up, inhale. And bring them back down, tilt to the other side. Well, I want to thank my crew again for being here today. Come on back in to center. We have Nancy and Linda and Sharon, Sharon and Betsy and Esther. We're here at the Wenatchee Valley Senior Activity Center and we want to thank them for letting us use their parking lot for an outdoor workout. We'll see you again.